One small step for hair. One giant leap for all hair kind. This video here that I'm presenting is 360, even all over, fade. I'm using my masters and guards. Tapering the sides here with my masters open. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my zero guard. Flick of the wrist technique to get that area right above the ear, but not to go too high up into the fade itself. Blending of the taper on the side is pretty much um, a zero to a one to your masters being open all the way. Then you can add your guards, you can add um, zero guard, guard one, and it's just pretty much going up different levels from low to even. Then blending it all in where you can go into a light into dark because you want the taper size to be light on the side and just blend into the natural hair uh, color itself. Here, um, doing a different design with this beard, which I'm blending it all down to almost a shadow, <clears throat> maybe an inch on, above a shadow. Um, and I'm going to make it more fuller and darken it in with um, the spray. Um, again, it's about the flick of the wrist. Um, most barbers would say um, it's pretty much easier to start with a beard from the bottom. Um, because it gives you a guide. It gives you a guide so you'll know how to bring down the top on both sides so you can be even. Everything in right here in the back. I always close my masters to a zero to start off. Then I open it up to the one, which is opening up all the way, number five, which is considered a one. And then I take it down to about a three on my masters just to get the line out and to blend it on up into the fade. That's pretty much it for this tutorial of the 360 taper side, taper back, shadow beard. <laughs>